As we know that the traditional theory assumes that firm's primary objective is to maximize the profit. So now I will explain that how margin cost and average cost curves helps a firm to analyze their profit gained and to make future decisions accordingly. Consider these two graphs, one representing firm's marginal cost and average cost curves and the other graph showing market supply and demand curves. As you see, supply and demand curves intersect at point A. This point is known as equilibrium point and the price corresponding to this point is equilibrium price. Now coming towards the firm's graph, at the same equation, at the same equilibrium, price point B is plotted on MC curve. Then we find the average cost of producing equilibrium quantity Y star. This is point D on AC curve. Next, we compare price at point B with average cost at point D. If B is greater than D, P star is greater than AC at Y star. Then it means that the firm is earning an economic profit. If D is greater than B, P star is less than AC at Y star then the firm is having a loss. Finally, if B is equal to D, P star is equal AC at Y star. Then the firm is earning zero economic profits and is in equilibrium. Hence, by taking into consideration these comparisons, a firm can take appropriate decisions for future. Moreover, from the firm's graph, we can compare marginal cost and average cost curves. As you will see, shady curve in the blue is showing that if MC is less than AC, then AC is falling. Similarly, the point in purple shows that if MC is equal AC, then AC is at its minimum. And finally, yellow color shows that if MC is greater than AC, then AC is rising. Also, marginal cost curves always intersect average cost curves at the minimum of average cost curves. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel.